What's up everyone? Today's tutorial we're going to be learning how to make custom 3D printed lens caps. You can put your own name or your logo or whatever you like. And this was requested by Brady Uploads. So Brady Uploads, I'll send you the first print. I'm going to teach you how to do it in Tinkercad because it's a super basic, super free program and it's really powerful and a lot of fun. Alright, step one, we're going to drag in an orange cylinder to our work plane and then scale it up holding shift to 58 millimeters since that's what our lens is. Now we're gonna grab this white square at the top and drag it down until the cylinder is eight to six millimeters tall. Now alt click and drag the top black arrow to duplicate the cylinder and set it on top of the first. Get the top cylinder to slightly touch the bottom cylinder. Hold shift while clicking the corner of the top cylinder to scale it down to 57 millimeters. Click and drag the small white box at the top of the top cylinder to change the height to 3.5 millimeters. This will be the tiny part that goes inside of the lens. Now go back to your shapes menu and down at the bottom drag in a tube thin onto the work plane. Shift drag the corner until it becomes 58 millimeters. Drag the top white box down until the new ring height is only one millimeter high. Then drag the flat tube on top of the second cylinder we made earlier. Now make sure that all the objects are touching and that the spacing is even around all the edges. Now we're going to cut shapes out of what we just made. Go to shapes and drag down a box shape. Drag the edges out until it's almost as big as the lens cap base. Grab the black arrow and push the box up until it's even with the second cylinder. Then, in the top right corner, click the button with the transparency stripes to make that big box we made into a hole. Now bring down two more boxes and place them diagonal from each other to create these two curvy wedge shapes out of our lens cap base. You can also hold Option or Alt while you drag an object to easily duplicate it. Oops, so we got a little ahead of ourselves. Select only the larger box and hit the button in the right corner of the screen to turn it back into a color. Then shift click on each box to select them all at once. Then hit the whole button in the right corner. This will combine them and we are ready to subtract the boxes from our lens cap base. Now select everything or hit command A on the keyboard to select all objects. Now in the top right panel hit the group button it looks like a little mountain and this will cut shapes out of our lens cap. Back in our shapes menu, pull down another box and now we're going to make some skinny little slits to give us some pressure buttons. Make the box three millimeters deep and the height and width pretty large. Then slide it right beside the wedge shape but leave a tiny gap on the side of the lens cap. Now option or alt drag on the skinny box to make a duplicate. Slide it to the opposite side of the lens cap by the other wedge. Leave the spacing on the opposite side compared to the other skinny box. So the skinny boxes are basically hanging off in the opposite directions. While holding shift, click on both skinny boxes and click the hole button over in the upper right corner. Make sure the boxes are going all the way through the top and the bottom of the lens cap. Then select all objects by hitting command A on the keyboard and press the group button on the upper right corner. The skinny boxes should disappear leaving holes. In the shapes panel drag in a sphere. Shift click and drag the top white box until it's as big around as the lens cap. Then not holding shift drag the top white box down until the sphere is very flat looking. Then hit the hole button over in the top right corner. Now we have a blank 58 millimeter lens cap. If you want to add your name or design to the lens cap, we have to flip it over 180 degrees. To do that, use these little curvy arrows on the side, click and drag until the lens cap has flipped all the way over. Now we're going to move our grid or work plane to the face of the lens cap. So press W on the keyboard and click on the face of the lens cap. Notice that the grid will now be raised up making the floor even with the lens cap surface. Now go to town and drag any letters or shapes onto the lens cap and they will be lined up on the face of the lens cap. 
I'll put PTT for print that thing, but you can put whatever you want. Once you're done, hit W on the keyboard and click on the ground to reset the work plane. For cleaner 3D printing, I suggest shift selecting all your letters or shapes, then hit the group button, then clicking the whole button right below it to make the letters transparent. Now you can push the shapes into the face of the lens cap to create a cutout. Make sure not to go all the way through to the other side unless that's the look you're going for. You can now select all objects with Command A, then hit the group button, and bam, you have a finished custom lens cap. Remember to flip the lens cap back over for easier printing and you're ready to export your file. Go over to the left corner and click on the tab Design to download for 3D printing or to order a 3D print online. If you want to 3D print it, select the STL option and it will automatically download. Load that STL file into the 3D slicing program of your choice and hit print. I printed this one in 0.3 millimeter layer height, 30% infill, three shells with optional raft and supports. It took roughly 45 minutes to print and it worked great straight out of the printer. Thanks for watching. Hope you learned some stuff. Would love to see y'all's lens caps, uh, so feel free to tag me in any of the photos or anything like that. Feel free to leave a comment of something that you would like me to show you how to make or show you how to design for 3D printing, and I will put it on the list. Yeah, hope everyone has a good day and happy printing.